This is the story about Humphrey Dingle, a rather boring middle-aged man who lived with his even more boring middle-aged wife called Shirley. They lived in a nice middle-class home in a middle-class suburb in a small town called Middleborough. The big thing about Humphrey Dingle was that he'd been dogged by bad oh. timing and rotten luck all of his life. Oh. If he was watering the garden, it would start to rain. When he went to collect the post, it hadn't been delivered yet. And as for his hard-boiled eggs... But Humphrey didn't let this sort of thing get him down. He just called it the fickle finger of fate and learned to live with the little mishaps that came his way. Like the day he accidentally fell in the pool and got attacked by the creepy crawly. He never had a hope in hell. It's not that he was a clumsy fellow, it's just that he was a little ahead of the here and now. Ah. Shirley was quite used to it by now, and never laughed when he bumped his head or tripped over his own mm. feet. She could have, but she never mm. did. Humphrey's body took a tremendous daily battering. From tugging too oh. quickly at the toilet roll, to reaching his mouth before oh. he got there. Sometimes it was hard for Shirley to contain herself. Like when he started shaving before he put the cream on his face. To Humphrey, the seven o'clock news was always precisely at 6.30. No wonder he always found it a bit boring. Well, all this mumbo-jumbo bad luck business became a thing of the past when Humphrey discovered his missing link. He was digging in the garden one hot summer's afternoon when his spade struck something unusually hard. On closer inspection, Humphrey discovered that it was an old clay plate with the letters M-O-N inscribed in green. It was the first time in his life that he'd uncovered something like this. What does it mean, he asked himself out loud. But after what felt like a very long time, he couldn't come up with anything, not even mon ami or mon dieu. Humphrey just knew that this word was the key to his happiness, the very thing that would bring time and space together in his life, bring him peace and harmony. That's all he was asking for. So, from then on out, Humphrey would always rub the clay plate in a clockwise direction in case it brought him luck. And it worked. He stopped stumbling over things. Okay, the car door was a little problem, but he wasn't expecting miracles. For the first time in his life, he drank an entire beer and certainly gave his wife something to smile about. Life was good. There was a lot more dingle in the dangle. Oh. That was until he noticed oh. that his finger was turning green. The more he rubbed, the greener it got, until the whole of his hand was green and the surgeon had to cut it off. So, you'd think that Humphrey would have learned his lesson by now, but no such thing. He had to find the meaning of M-O-N. He lost his right arm next, followed by his left arm. Oh, for heaven's sake, Humphrey, whenever will you stop, complained his wife although there was a lot less ironing to do. His lower legs were next to go. Oh. Oh. And then his entire torso. I am no longer in control, confessed Humphrey sadly to himself. The sign must tell me when. Well, it wasn't long before Humphrey was just a head on a pillow. Pathetic, really trying to lick that silly green word one last time. Sad to say, Humphrey died ahead of his time. And to this day, the answer to his lifelong dilemma lies clearly etched in green on a clay plate attached to his gravestone.
YouTube.